Hello, welcome to my channel Green Momba. Uh, I'm going to express myself, not explaining, but express myself how I feel about, uh, not how I feel, but the first impression I've got from Yamaha T150. In Indonesia, it is called Yamaha and a king. If in other country like Vietnam, Malaysia, or Singapore, maybe it is called something else like Exciter 150 or Sniper 150, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, also, uh, maybe for all of you that not living in Southeast Asia, uh, you might not know that <laughs> this bike is exist, except maybe uh, some people who live in Greece, maybe uh, there is some bike, I don't, I don't know what it's called in, in Greece, uh, but I believe it is Yamaha T135 or Yamaha Jupiter MX135 in Indonesia. So uh, this bike is like the predecessor of the 135cc engine. Okay, uh, well, maybe some short history of this bike. Uh, actually, this, this engine was uh, first, uh, the first time this engine was introduced in the, uh, to the world was in 2004 or 2005. I don't, re uh, I don't really remember. I, I, don't, I can't quite remember uh, the time, the exact time, but, but I believe that it's around uh, 2004 or 2005. Uh, the first time uh, the engine was coming out, it was 135cc engine. But uh, sometimes later, uh, the engine was developed into some, some other bike like uh, Yamaha FC15 or Yamaha F uh, YZFR15, etc. etc. So, uh, well, basically, this is the, the, moped version, uh, the moped version of Yamaha FZ, FZ15 and Yamaha R15. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, that's kind of like it. And then uh, sometimes later, Yamaha developed some other engine like Yamaha uh, R125, uh, I believe it is uh, a special, uh, uh, that, that bike was only produced and, and you know, uh, being marketed in uh, European uh, European market, I, I don't I don't really know, but maybe in some, some country like Australia or America, but uh, the thing that I know, it is only marketed in Europe. Okay, uh, first of all, uh, this bike is not really that powerful. I mean, it only produced around uh, 15 brake horsepower or, or less. <laughs> I, I don't know. Uh, and then around 13.8 Newton meters. So that, that's not really powerful. And, and this is, I was trying to, to reach the top speed of this bike. <laughs> but but seems like I, I felt, I, I don't know. So some people said that it was more than 115 kilometers an hour and some others said that it, it couldn't reach more than 120 uh, 20 kilometers an hour. Uh, but yeah, uh, first, firstly I, will, I would like to talk about the design about this bike. Well, uh, this bike is not really that young. I mean, I mean uh, the first time this bike was coming out around 2016 or 2017, I, I can't quite remember around that time but so uh, and then and then it, it gets uh, some facelift from Yamaha but not that not really that much uh, the, this the engine the engine is the same but maybe in some country the the cylinder capacity around 150 uh, 155 cc so I, I don't know but in, in my country it is just uh, 150 cylinder capacity so the engine and, and the camshaft and the structure is uh, pretty similar with the Yamaha FZ15 or Yamaha MT15, etc., uh, etc. Et so, not not really much to talk about the engine, but but the design, uh, I I quite remember uh, I quite remember the the first Yamaha T135. Uh, well, it it was changing so much from the, the first Yamaha T T135cc, but I like it. Uh, pretty much I like it uh, maybe I would like to uh, address some 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 not really a fraud but you know so, something that weird in in this bike you know the the front tire is too small compared to the to the rear tire so the rear tire of this bike is using around 120 per 70 I don't know what is in in, in I I, can't, I, I, uh, I don't have time to, to calculate that, but yeah, you know, th there is some 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 uh, big difference between the front tire and the rear tire of this uh, this bike particularly. 
but the 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 bike that I used to in this video was changing the the rear the rear wheel a little bit smaller so I uh, I could feel to you know uh, ride around or, or uh, cornering a little bit lighter than that if I try to use the original tire size. Uh, so I will uh, uh, I will give a solid ten, uh, seven from ten. And and then performance, I don't think that uh, there is something that I could <laughs> comment or talk about the performance of this bike. I mean, uh, for for 150 cc engine, it should produce more than uh, 50 brake horsepower. I mean, like Suzuki, Suzuki, Suzuki has. Uh, GSX 150 and then uh, Suzuki Satria 150. So uh, there is a moped bike in uh, in Southeast Asia that uh, 150 cc. It, it produces a lot more horsepower than this bike. Uh, yeah, I know that the bike was pretty short the stroke, so so it could reach a higher RPM, but the the, the gap is too 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 big for for uh, for the, the for this bike compared to the, that bike. I mean three horsepower. <laughs> that's that's a lot for for small capacity engine. And then uh, in in Yamaha, uh, there is Yamaha yeah, ZFR 150, uh, the the third version. It produces 18 brake horsepower. So if Yamaha, you know, put some some effort in this bike, it might produce around 17 or maybe 16.5 brake horsepower if they wanted to. So, uh, for the performance thing, I mean, not really that much. Maybe the engine performance only. I will give five to six, uh, or, or five five point eight uh, uh, from ten. So <laughs> the the engine performance doesn't really impress me. I mean, I, I have a spot, uh, soft spot for for Yamaha Jupiter MX or Yamaha T series. T series. Hmm. <laughs> for for this particular bike because I, I also have a Yamaha T155 from 2010 and the bike still running until this day so <laughs> it is literally 10 years old bike and still running pretty well but yeah I mean for for 10 years and, and it only produced two more horsepower it is pretty lame for me <laughs> okay and then for the suspension I don't quite like it. I mean, well, it is comfy for for daily commute. I, I believe this is pretty comfy, but without any uh, internal baggage, I don't feel like to use this bike for my daily commute. I mean, I still have to bring my bag around. That's not really comfortable for me. I mean, if I have to uh, bring my my backpack around like like that, I mean why not just using my Kawasaki R6 and other bike that produce more horsepower uh, so the suspensions it is a little bit not a little bit but too much too much bouncy so I, I know that maybe Yamaha was creating that type of suspension to make their customer feel a little bit more comfortable but it is too comfortable I mean that that mobile bike is not really small bike if you if you compare to 150 cc uh, sport bike a small sport bike the dimension is pretty much the same it's just a little bit you know smaller and a little bit <laughs> what is it called <laughs> i don't know but but the length is pretty same the wheelbase is pretty pretty same uh, pretty much the same with the, the uh, small cylinder capacity engine sport bike and then in this video you can you can see that i was riding at the bumpy road pretty pretty fast i think uh, not really but it's, it is around 65 miles an hour or around 100 kilometers an hour but yeah the, i i couldn't really shift from the fourth to the to the fifth gear because the the bouncy the bumpy road make the the motorcycle a little bit more bouncy so i couldn't really you know shift shift up and then uh, reach the top speed like the uh, uh, like the moment at the previous uh, not at the previous video but <laughs> sometimes uh, 
several minutes ago. I mean, <laughs> I mean several minutes ago. So, yeah, not really like the the suspension. Well, yeah, I think it is a little bit harsh for for Yamaha T150, especially if you compare this bike to the Honda GTR 150. Well. <laughs> But yeah, I have some soft spot for for this bike. I mean, I know there is some some mechanical problem uh, for the Honda GTR 150. So if I only have around 23 or 25 million rupiah, I still buy this bike instead of the Honda GTR 150. Uh, well, because the cylinder head is pretty much I I can't trust that Honda. I just can't trust that Honda GTR, and then uh, the cam chain also. <laughs> there is some problem in the in the cam chain too, so that 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 problem is is <laughs> is not exist in the in this Yamaha 135, and then because this bike is pretty much sold in the entire world. Well, not in the entire world, but there is two continent that was selling this bike or market marketing this bike. Uh, The, the aftermarket parts like Athena or Wasner or maybe BRT etc etc is pretty much uh, make this bike turn a little bit easier so so if you if you search uh, for fun bike like uh, you know customing this bike into some dirt bike etc etc well Yamaha T T150 is a good bike for you I mean I believe that this bike is pretty cheap for, for America or, or Europe European Uh, people out there, it is only around 23 million rupiah in in Indonesia, so it it must be cheaper than uh, cheaper <laughs> at at your country. Well, well, uh, not really much a good thing that I could say in this video about the Yamaha T150. Oh yeah, this bike is pretty light. I mean, I, I usually <laughs> ride my Kawasaki ER6, so I. That's not a comparable uh, a comparison, I think. <laughs> so that's it for today. I mean, thank you for for watching my video. It is still useless. See you next time. Green one, but.